going on YouTube, this is Death Penguin here. I got a Skyrim Let's Play for you. Um, unfortunately, this is my second time recording this uh, Let's Play. I had a little bit of an oopsie the first time. Set my uh, game capture to the wrong setting, and I recorded an entire 30-minute long video of the Let's Play series, and realized my let my uh, resolution was all zoomed in. Um, so I'm kind of gonna sort of redid, redid what I did the first time um, and do it right this time I've already tested it it's correct this time uh, the only reason it was messed up is I changed my game capture to record um, a specific window which was going to be uh, oblivion but I was gonna I was gonna do an oblivion let's play but unfortunately my oblivion's not working at this given time. Um, this is the uh, anniversary edition that I'm running currently. So I have all the DLCs as well as all the uh, Creation Club content as well that I'm all playing on this uh, specific playthrough. I had a... Yep, it's still doing it. Never mind. I don't know why General Tolia sounds like that. I don't know if it sounds like that on the desktop audio, but uh, for some really odd reason, General Tolia sounds like he did a reverse helium balloon and got a super, super deep voice. Be doing sort of like a warrior build this time around. Gonna be using like a two-handed weapon as well as a bow. Not gonna do any specific quest lines in any specific order. Kind of just gonna run around and do random stuff. Probably do a lot of dungeon exploring, stuff like that, uh, as well as some commentary over it. Something I've never really done in Skyrim. I've always stuck to the quest lines in all my times playing the game. I've never really just ran around and went random dungeons. Man, why do you gotta profile me like that? I'm not even supposed to be on this cart. I ain't a storm cloak. I like that the Imperials just kind of were like, oh, well, he's not a storm cloak who we were trying to kidnap, but screw it. We'll just cut his head off, too. It's all good. So, wait, my head's going in the same bucket as his? What in oblivion is that? It took me three playthroughs of this game to realize that the dragon that attacks Helgen is Alduin, the main dragon villain of the game. Never realized it. Until I turned subtitles on. See ya. Oh, Jesus. Should I jump over your shoulder real quick? It's probably going to be like a 15 to 20 minute long video. More than likely I'll just make it to Riverwood. And then I'll call it there. Jesus. Trying to kiss me? Nah. I just want to be naked. 
I don't know why the, this game is like bugged where these guys like don't attack you. Way ahead of you, boss. What is the orc power? Take half damage and do double damage for second for sixty seconds. Citizens control. Gives you access to the in-game configuration. Oh, it's for the mod I have. so bad on both parties you just headbutted somebody to death homie I've been done I'm way ahead of you. I'm, I'm doing my thing here. Hello. I think I'm going to use a bow as well. Just thinking about it, kind of like dragons show up. Only having a two handed weapon probably isn't the best thing. So I'll be taking your bow and your arrows. Also, quick saving is your friend. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I ever actually like regularly save in the game. I always do quick save. It, quick saves. Highly recommend it. It serves the same purpose as regularly saving, but way faster. All the spiddlers before they even knew I was there. It was gonna be a big one. I have leveled up. I'm 
What? Did I even hurt myself on? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm kind of laughing at myself and pretty mad at myself at the same time for allowing myself to record for 30 minutes and then realizing that I had everything, the whole video was like completely ruined basically. Everything I recorded was basically pointless. Very kind of upset about that whole thing. survival mode. What are we hiding from? Looks like he's gone for good this time. I definitely wouldn't say gone for good. That's a... You're definitely downplaying the situation. I don't think a dragon would just leave for good. That's probably pretty unlikely. Other cool things I've realized in uh, my playthroughs of this game, um, there's a way to get a secret treasure map. Pretty like you can get like one of the first treasure maps of the game. Uh, if you head a little bit north, you want to head I think this way. You should stumble across a bandit camp. I like coming to it anyway because yeah, right here. Because uh, there's a guy with heavy armor there, and I like to take all this heavy armor. to take all of her armor because so I'm looking to use heavy armor excuse me who is shooting arrows um, oh I did not mean to pick up that kettle Anyway, there's a person that drops a treasure map. It's this guy. And I'm going to level up here now. I went orc because usually when I'm warrior builds, I like to do orcs because they go, they have the highest uh, starting smithing skill. Which is super useful if you're a warrior because you can you can smith like really good uh, heavy armors early on. Uh, cool thing about the anniversary edition it adds a bunch of new armors in the game. I know there's mods that do the same thing, but it was less than twenty dollars for me to get this game uh, with the anniversary edition content, and plus I have access to all the mods, so it was kind of a steal for me. And I like a lot of the. Uh, armor designs uh, they have for the creation club I only knew there was a bandit here because I in my original recording I already came here I just want to make it to Riverwood Who would have thought the road to a really dainty little town would be so dangerous? Wolves, bandits, 
All sorts of craziness. I gotta make a leather strip, so I'm an idiot. I recommend grabbing a woodcutter's axe early on. It allows you to essentially, you can chop wood, really easy way to make money. I like how the end result of the quest where you help either one of them get with her is that she ends up liking you. And that she'll, she essentially becomes like an available person to marry. It's a really strange outcome considering the gist of the quest. You cost too much money. Alright folks, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to be posting more of a Let's Play series. Um, probably in the next video, we're going to head on down to Whiterun. Um, essentially going to go talk to the Jarl and bring my boy Feindal with me. Um, I feel like these kind of videos, I'm going to be doing more of them. Um, if not, I will kind of switch it up. Probably do more tips and trick videos here as well on my other character. Um, once I kind of get more, uh, get more ideas of uh, which ones to do. Um, if you, wanna, if you uh, liked what you saw, hit that like button. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and with that being said, see y'all in the next video.